This is the ultimate battery test of Pixel 6a versus Samsung Galaxy A53. Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Welcome and welcome back to Gadget Rev Now. Today is a battery test of two of the most popular mid-range phones, the Samsung Galaxy A53 and the Pixel 6a. Both of them are the newest and the latest phone from their respective manufacturers, and both of them offers a unique experience. The Samsung Galaxy A53 is a great phone with the best screen and a good-looking unibody design. While the Pixel 6a might be the best value mid-range phone because of the Tensor chip and the awesome camera. So today, let's check how good the battery of these two phones. Let's go to work. Let's start with our video test. So a few things to note, I set Galaxy A5 to 60Hz since Pixel 6a also has 60Hz. I thought it would be unfair to go 120Hz for the Samsung Galaxy A5 III. In terms of screen brightness, both will be set to 50%. You will notice that Samsung Galaxy A5 III is brighter and looks better. That increase in brightness will burn more battery. This is not an Apple to Apple comparison but the closest we can get, volume for both phones will be set to max. This will be a 1 hour and 40 minute video. Quickly checking the specs, Pixel 6a has 4,400 mAh battery while Samsung Galaxy A53 has 5,000. We will be back after 1 hour. So after 1 hour of video, the Pixel 6a drops down to 95%, 5% per hour, while the Samsung Galaxy A53, although brighter, has a bigger battery too, it has 96%, 4% per hour. We will be back after 40 minutes once I finish watching this video. After 1 hour 40 minutes, Pixel 6a actually dropped down significantly to 90%. Heat could also be a factor, that's another 5% in just 40 minutes. While Samsung Galaxy A53 is steady, it still has 93% after an hour and 40 minutes. Now we will do gaming. Awesome. For our gaming test, we are playing Mobile Legends, starting with Pixel 6a. Now we just finished Samsung Galaxy A53. I play exactly 30 minutes each phone. Alright, so checking the results, 81% remaining on Pixel 6a and 85% remaining on Samsung Galaxy A53. Now we will put both phones to standby mode for 1 hour and then we will test the GPS and maps. So we will do a 16 minute drive using Google Maps and GPS. So we still have 7 minutes, 78% on Pixel 6a and 83% on Samsung Galaxy A53. We're here in the location, so for Pixel 6a, it drops at 77% and for Samsung Galaxy A53, it's 83%. We're putting both phones on standby on 5G. So after maps, GPS, 4K video recording, and 3 hours of standby time, the Pixel 6a still has 74%, while the Samsung Galaxy A53 has 81%. Now we will try to burn the battery by doing a video loop. We will put the brightness to 75-80% to and max brightness. Next, we're firing another video test and this time we're setting the brightness to 80%. So more of content consumption with different scenarios since the people that will buy these mid-range phones will probably consume more content than gaming. For Pixel 6a, it has a max brightness of 776 nits, so 80% is around 621 nits. While Samsung Galaxy A53 has a max brightness of 830 nits and 80% is around 664 nits. Both phones are connected to Wi-Fi, same router, and max volume. We will check these phones after an hour. So after an hour, Pixel 6a now drops to 64%, while Samsung Galaxy A53 lead is growing bigger at 74%. And the good thing about Samsung Galaxy A53 is, the screen is brighter and still get the lead. To make this test more interesting, I'll probably switch to 120Hz later on Samsung Galaxy A53 in the browsing test. So after 2 hours of movie, we have 54% on Pixel 6a and 67% on Samsung Galaxy A53. 
It's almost 10.20 right now. We will do an overnight standby time for these two phones and we will drain them tomorrow. Good morning, today is around 7.20. There's 9 hours standby time for these two phones. So we're checking Pixel 6a, it's 45%. And for Samsung Galaxy A53, it's 65%. Alright, so we will try to kill these two phones. We will do browsing and video loop. So our next test is social media, internet, and YouTube browsing for the next one hour. 30 minutes each for both phones using Wi-Fi. Same router, brightness at 50%. While doing the browsing test, these videos are hard to do. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe. So just for fun, I know the Samsung Galaxy A53 is already on a marginal lead. But I will put this to high 120Hz refresh rate while doing the browsing test. So after 30 minutes of browsing and even setting Galaxy A53 to 120Hz, Pixel 6a is now down to 41% while Samsung Galaxy A53 still has over half at 58%. Now we will try one more test, 2 hours of videos on max brightness and max volume. I may not be able to kill these two phones during this endurance test. This is already a day and a half vlog for me. So we will check the standby tie, the screen on time, and the remaining battery of these two phones after this video test. So after 1 hour, let's check the battery quickly. For Pixel 6a, it only has 32%. And for Samsung Galaxy A53, still half at 51%. The max brightness is killing Pixel 6a's battery faster. So after 2 hours of videos on max brightness, we still have 24%, quarter of that 4400mAh battery on Pixel 6a, and 46% on Samsung Galaxy A53, almost half of that 5000mAh. So, are you guys ready for the results? Disclaimer, I thought I will be able to kill both phones in this test. Because last time I checked the S22 versus S21, I was able to kill both phones during this endurance test. But the battery of these two phones are better, so we still have remaining batteries at the end of this test. So, Pixel 6a has a standby time of 15 hours and screen on time of 7 hours and 30 minutes. I still have 24% at the end of my test. If I will continue video loop, it will probably end up around 9 hours. While Samsung Galaxy A53 has a standby time of 15 hours and screen on time of 7 hours and 30 minutes, it still retains 46%. If I continue that video loop, I may end up 11 hours. And there you go. This is the battery test of these two phones. I will do the camera comparison and the speed test next. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.